Welcome back, Big Skillet here, and uh, I wanted to do a fitting video uh, of a ship that I've come to really enjoy. I used to use this ship a lot uh, in the past, but for some reason I just kind of forgot about it with all the CTAs and, and the war and things like that. You, you tend to lose sight of some of the, you know, your basic PvP ships that, um, that you enjoy, right? And, and, that, and I'm talking about the Ashmu. You know, the Ashmu is a phenomenal um, solo PvP, small fleet PvP, and, and you saw in the last war, uh, actually was a, a fairly important CTA ship in, inside the Logi bubble, right? To, to protect the Logi um, from ships coming in, you can web them down and, and quickly eliminate, you know, the enemy. So, um, but the fitting I'm going to show you today, and let's just, let's get right into it. All right, so this is how I typically set up my Ashimu for, you know, either solo PvP or very small fleet engagements, right? Um, first things first, I think it's somewhat common sense, but you're going to want to use the short range weapon, which is medium pulse lasers. Um, you have a combined of, whoops, hold on a second. I use it. All right, one. There we go. Uh, you, you have about 20 to 21 kilometer range, which is definitely good enough in PvP. Um, I like that. And then the mid slots, you know, given the fact that the Ashmu uh, gets the web bonuses, and I guess we before we get into the fitting, let's let's talk about the the bonuses of the ship, right? So for advanced electronic warfare per level, you're going to get 15% energy Nosferatu two efficiency. Uh, and you figure if you take it to five, that's 75% efficiency. That's almost like doubling uh, the efficiency of the NOS. And the same goes for the neutralizer, 75%. And then you get a 100% uh, range bonus to, this, to the Webifier, which is pretty strong. You also get some damage and tracking, which is obviously very, very important. And the key thing here is the roll bonus. The roll bonus uh, of minus 100% energy Nosferatu overload penalty and what that does is it causes the NOS basically to act like a neutralizer right um, the, in, the in the typical situation when you're using a NOS essentially you can't NOS the target ship lower in cap than what you have right it's sort of a balancing act if you have 20% cap you can't take the enemy or the, the target below 20%. If it's 50%, 50%, so on and so forth. This roll bonus allows you to exceed that and actually, actually act as a neutralizer. And basically you can take your target ship to, to zero, which is a huge benefit, obviously, because if they don't have any camp, they typically can't, you know, they can't burn away from you. They can't repair themselves. And depending on the ship, they may not even be able to fire weapons. So that's, that's pretty important. Um, once again, we're using the pulse pulses in the highs in the mids. Once again, this is for small PVP engagements. I'm using double webs and yes, you can use the predator webs and get 29.6 uh, kilometer range. So effectively 30 kilometers. Um, but I choose to use uh, a much cheaper option because it's still basically effective, right? It's 27.2 kilometers. To me, that's close enough. I had I did use the predators the other day, and I lost one, kept one uh, when I died. So it kind of got me to thinking. I I don't know that the extra two kilometers really made a, a difference, but it, it does cost a lot more. I think 50, 60 million is per module difference, and we'll, we can check that in a minute. Um, you're also going to go um, with a long point. If I can get it to click. This one is the Predator's the best in game currently, unless you were one of the lucky ones from the Freighter Raid to get a, a named one. But 30, 30 kilometers with two points, you definitely don't have to use that. You could go with the lesser version, Republic or the Kaldari. I think those give you about 27 kilometers, which actually makes more sense since, you know, it would match your webs, not necessary. And the big one for me is I do fit a large NOS and I do fit the, the best in-game NOS on it, I believe because it's such a strength of the ship that you should use the better items. I think you can save a little isk in the build on the webs. 
and go with the the, the better uh, better NOS because it definitely makes a, a difference. Um, so the energy transfer amount is 230, which is strong, knowing that that's a 75% increase over the normal by itself, which seems low. It seems like it should be higher than that, but okay. Um, and then, of course, you have your drone. Uh, low slots are on a micro warp drive, which I think, you know, is kind of commonplace for a cruiser. Two adaptives. And then I also get in here a large shield booster. And I, I know it's a it's an armor ship technically, right? If we go to the ship, you see that it's only got 7,400 shields, but it has 10,000, over 10,000 armor. So it's, it's, it's got about 40% more armor than shields but here's here comes the dilemma with choosing one or the other if we go to the market and we'll start with the large armor repair the power grid of the best name one is over a thousand get it to come up it's a thousand twenty two power grid now obviously skills being equal for shields and armor you're going to be able to reduce that, but only by so much. And the armor repair amount is 1500 and change. But I know based on the power grid that we can't fit that. So the best we're going to hope for is the MK9. You see a, a substantial less power grid requirement, but also you get less armor repair. So you get a little over a thousand, right? And the activation time, when we're just going to compare base stats right now, is 15 seconds. So if you simply multiply that by four, and let's do that real quick. So we got 1,060 times four. That's 4,240 armor hit points that you can repair in a minute. Now let's take a look at the shield booster, and you're going to see why you go with shields. So once again, base stats are 914, but the it's less, but the cycle time is only eight seconds versus Six, uh, 15 seconds so I can get seven boosts per minute of this well if you take the 914 times seven that's just under 6400 shields per minute so it's a 50% increase in shields over armor plus it has less power grid requirements um, over armor so it's it's really a win-win all the way around and, I, and that's why I think you really should be shield tanking this ship and you shouldn't be armor taking it. And, and to get, to preface this, to get a large NOS and a large shield booster with my skills, and I got 554 across the board in um, cruisers, I got to use two ancillary power grid threes, which frees up an extra low slot, or I should say an extra engineering slot, which I went with the targeting three for the faster lock speed. Now you could put an auxiliary thruster three here to, to gain the speed, which you know many people might do. It's just not my personal choice. Um, I don't solo PVP a lot. I usually go with a group. So I think having that extra, I don't know, 10 or 15% of speed isn't gonna make or break what I'm trying to do in, in, the, in the group. So I, I choose to go with that. And it's also a lot cheaper than the auxiliary three as well. And then I do, I changed something up recently and, and I believe it's going to be a lot better. So I still have my, uh, tech three EM shield hardener, and I still have the tech three rate of fire for the guns, uh, which makes a hundred DPS difference without it. So with it, whoops, my DPS for the guns, as you see here is 750. If I took it off, it's only 650. So to me, I really want that DPS. I want to take down the target as quickly as possible. To me, it's just a necessity. Other people may feel differently, but having the you know the DPS is important to me anyway. Now, one thing I did change here is I, I was going with, um, as I recall, two EM rigs or an EM and thermal. You can you know inter interchange those, but instead I decided to put on the the defense charge optimizer or economizer where I get an additional 30% to my shield booster, which is huge because now instead of 914, I'm, a, I'm getting 1188, 
which just makes me that much more tankier. I can last that much longer. Um, and it's just, it's just an awesome all around ship. And I, I think uh, with the wars lately and all the focuses on the battleships and the guardians and, and the scepters for tackle that, you know, the cruisers didn't get a lot of love. You definitely saw some Ashmus during uh, several of the bigger fleet engagements, uh, especially in like K4, for example. Um, folks were using Ashmus with the Lodgy fleets. That way, when the Scepters came in to try to tackle the Lodgy, the uh, Ashmus could web them down and then, you know, eliminate the target quickly. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they didn't set them up this way. Uh, my assumption would be they would have four webs. Predators, maybe not. Um, they probably didn't have the shield booster. Probably went with maybe um, an inertia stave or another hardener. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Maybe a damage mod. You know, it's hard to say. But but anyway, uh, I don't want to get off, off point here too much. And let's switch the camera. So, you know, really just to finish up, you know, the Ashmu is, is, is an awesome PvP ship. You can PVE in it if you want to. It's a great support ship. Uh, the DPS is pretty good. It's definitely less than a than a, a Cinnable, but with the the extended web range, it really helps if you're if you're riding. But it's definitely primarily a PVP ship. So you know, if, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. I haven't done a fitting uh, guide in a long time, and you know, a couple of folks were, reached out and said, "Hey, you might want to consider doing some of these because." We haven't seen a lot of these lately, so I appreciate the feedback. Uh, I will be looking at other ships to do some fitty guides on as well. And if you like this video, uh, definitely su consider subscribing to the channel and ring that notification bell. That way, when I release my next video, you'll be notified. And if you like this video, go ahead and pound on that like button. And until then, fly dangerously.